So Ukraine, especially if we talk about those uh, new technologies like drones and increasing implementation of uh, mobile electronic warfare system, they emerge as there's a grassroots initiative than any top top down uh, uh, decision. It was a soldiers who suffering from the lack of firepower experimented with the different way to compensate for the lack of the artillery munition. Uh, at first, they attached uh, explosives to reconnaissance drones and used it as a bombers. They experimented then with the FPV drones, again, as, the, as the sp- attaching explosives to them to use them as a kamikaze. Uh, it is only later when those technologies were taken uh, by the private industry and become much more specialized, much more designed specifically for, for the military purpose rather than being uh, a handmade modification of, a, of civilian uh, civilian technology, and the state relatively recently stepped in to uh, scale up their production, uh, really to the extent that, that the Russian doing that. That approach both has its benefit, as as you mentioned, in fact, and advantages and disadvantages, because we have so many different uh, brigades and units and uh, local R and D uh, R and D groups and the uh, different pro- producers. Uh, we, on the one hand, produce a lot of innovations, and on the other hand, we produce a lot of very tailored solutions for the specific tactical circumstances that they, this or that brigade need. 